Hi, I'm Sean Smith. That makes this Sean Smith Photos, where I edit street photography and occasional travel photos in On One Photo Raw. So today I'm going to show you three different ways to add a watermark to On One Photo Raw. Three different ways, uh, from easy to more complex, and then it's up to you to decide which one to go with. So let's get to it. All right, so the first method is very simple. And we've got a photo here. And then we're just going to go to the export module. And I have my uh, preset. I'm going to disable my preset. And then I'm going to, um, I'm not going to change the naming on the, on the image. And I want to ask where it's going. And the most important thing down, oh, and then resize. Um, let's go, where's resize? Uh, we want to resize just to keep it small. So there, okay. And then uh, open up watermark. And there's nothing here. Well, we just click on add a watermark or we can select a preset. I'm going to add a watermark because I don't have a preset yet. Oh, whoops. I have to enable it. And then I'm going to add a watermark. And I have the options for a text or a logo watermark. Now, text is really simple. So we're going to do text. And we can see your text. That's the sample text. So I want this to be uh, my name. So I want to include the copyright symbol, which I've already copied to my clipboard. I'm just going to paste that in. And then I'm going to put my name, Sean Smith. And here I scroll down and I can choose the font. So let's maybe choose some sort of a script font. Um, not that one. How about, no, not Bradley Hand. Let's go with uh, the brush script, OK? It's a nice and simple one. And I can change uh, the font size. So maybe we'll make it bigger. And I can add a token here. So maybe I want to have this. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it over here. And then uh, if I add a token, just like with the resize or the renaming module, you can choose anything you want to include in here. So for me, I think the best one is year. So I'm going to include that. And we can see right now it says 2023 because I shot this photo last week. And I can change the color. And I like it being white. And then I can choose the position. Now, there's a little. it's a little bit limited. You've got nine little spots. So if I choose the bottom center, it goes here. If I choose bottom right, it goes here. I'm going to go with bottom center. And then inset chooses up or down. Now, if I'm on one of the ones, or sorry, if I'm on one of the corners, inset equally applies it to the top, bottom, and the left and the right. So I'm, I'm just going to go with this bottom right, and I seem I like that. Now, what I can do here is where is it? Presets, I can save this as a preset. So I'm going to name, I'm going to save this as a new preset. I'm going to say uh, Sean's text um, watermark. Right, and then I'm going to export this. Now it's going to export that image. And as soon as it's done, and there you go. You can see it's added my watermark. And let's just test this one more time. There we go. We can see that it was shot in September 2022. So export. And I'm going to keep everything the same. And we can see right here, September 20 or Sean Smith 2022. And open up the image, and there it is. OK, so that was really, really simple. So uh, 
if you're planning on buying on one or any of the plugins or up to for updating your software uh, please use my uh, discount code uh, it should be popping up on the screen right now it saves you 20 percent and it helps out my channel all right so the second option we're going to create an image-based text uh, an image-based watermark right inside on one photo raw 2024. so this is really simple uh, you go over to here file click file and then new canvas and i'm going to name this one um, sean's water mark and i'm just going to keep the preset size that it, it comes with default because I'm going to crop it later anyways. Hit OK. And I end up with a transparent canvas. Great. So what we want to do now is add our text. And I'm going to do that with the text box. And I'm going to change the bounding, uh, the bounding area so that I can make my text really large. And I type my name, Sean Smith, I select it, and then I'm going to go over here and there we go. Nice. And I'm going to center align the text and we can change the opacity of the text. We can change the color of the text and I want a white watermark. So I'm going to change the color to white. I'm going to change the color to white, save it. And now I want to crop this because I'm done. Uh, there's no need to add a copyright year because then I would need to edit the photo or the watermark every year. So I'm just going to uh, crop, oops, crop with the C key. And I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to go like that. I'm going to save it. And then I need to export this as a transparent ping so that I can import it back into On One and use it as a watermark. So let's go to the export module. And naming, I'm not going to do anything with the name. Destination, ask when exporting, resize, no. Um, ping, yes. Okay, so let's export this. And then I open this up. And there we go. There's my watermark. So now what I can do is go back to browse module. And I'm going to go to my watermark folder here. And let's open this up. I want to add this watermark to this photo and export it. Okay, so I'm going to export it. And we're going to uh, so resize is already on. We're going to go to turn on the watermark module. Oh, oops. Uh, turn on the watermark module, open that up. And by default, it's using my text watermark. Well, I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off text. I'm going to add a watermark, a logo watermark. And then I'm going to click import because I don't have my logo there yet. And if I click import, that opens up the extra mod, uh, extras manager and I'm in watermarks. And I'm going to import, and I'm going to go to Sean's watermark, open it. It's going to ask me to choose a category. I'm going to create a category. I'm going to call it uh, Sean's watermark. OK. There were no errors. Close, close. And now my watermark is visible. Okay, so it show, shows up really tiny. I can increase the size just like before. And then the inset works, the opacity works just like before. And I think I'll put it up in the upper left this time. 
and make it a little bit bigger, reduce the inset, and, and okay. And we open it up and there it is. There's my watermark in the top left corner. Okay, so that's the second method. And I want to uh, do a big shout out to Chris at Free Will Photos. I had a three hour conversation with him over the weekend and he gave me lots of advice about YouTube and stuff. If you're not already watching or subscribe to Chris's YouTube channel, Free Will Photos, go subscribe now, quality content. Uh, let's get back to it. All right, so the third method for creating a uh, watermark is to use a third-party program that has more robust text options, such as Affinity Photo or Photoshop or anything where you can manipulate text and do more with it. So what I did, and uh, do, do, do. is I created two watermarks. Okay, so this one is in white and this one is in black. So we're gonna, this is already created. You'll need to know how to use your, your program of choice, Photoshop, Affinity Photo, whatever, and make sure that you export it as a transparent ping and the process works exactly the same as it does for when we used on one and made our own ping there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export this image again. <laughs> and I've got everything set up here the way I want it. And I'm going to go to watermark. And I'm going to change the logo. This time I'm going to import again. and import and I copied and pasted in this affinity folder and I'm just going to import both of these. Sean's watermarks, okay, okay, close. And now I've got these other watermarks. And so this one here, you know, I, I chose the white one. It's more ornate. It's a little bit more flashy. Maybe you have a logo for your business and you want to include it like that. This is the way to do it. Unfortunately, on one's text editor is not very robust, but this is the way to get something uh, a little bit more intricate. If you're happy with just a plain text one, which honestly, that's what I would use, um, on one it'll serve you well. And same, again, same options. We can put it in the center. I'm gonna put it in the bottom right and I'm going to increase the size and I'm gonna inset it a little bit and I'm gonna reduce the opacity this time. I want it to be a little bit more subtle. There we go. And now I'm going to export this once again. There it is. So we've got uh, three different ways to export or sort of export with a watermark on your photos. Okay, now I, this is way too in your face. I wouldn't recommend somebody do something this ornate, but this, it was just for demo purposes. So a little bit of a, a extra thoughts about improvements that could be made to watermarking with on one uh, photo rob. So the, the first one that I would really like to see, and I'm just gonna hit the export option here again, is I, I would like to be able to make one water image watermark and then change the color depending on what sort of image I've got. So maybe I want it to be white or black or I want it to be yellow or blue or whatever. It would be nice is if we could have a color overlay. And so it'd be an, 
like another option here and then we could just pick a color and it would recolor this photo and add an, a, a layer on top of the watermark. I, I think that would be really, really great. The other option that I think needs to be improved upon is the inset option. So we've, we can lo place the image anywhere we want within these nine squares, but if the logo, sorry, uh, if the image that we choose is too long and then we're playing with the inset, like I want it to be closer to the bottom, it gets cut off on the right. So what I propose is that there is an x-axis slider and a y-axis slider. So I could choose where it goes left to right or top to bottom. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.